Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Ali Al Ghazali, and welcome back to Al Islam Channel. Today, as promised, we begin the first Arabic course on the channel, which is uh, going to be a commentary on the very popular book Al Arabiyatu Bayna Yadayk. As you can see on the screen here, I already have my book open, so please open your books, whether it's the physical book or a PDF version of of it. And if you don't have the PDF, you'll find the links for it in the description box below. Now, this is the front cover of the book. As you can see, the title is here, Al Arabiyatu Bayna Dayk, which, as we said before, roughly translates to the Arabic language in your reach and literally translates to the Arabic language between your hands. Now, I'm going to scroll down all the way to the first chapter of the, of the book. Uh, I think you'll find it on page number 23 in the PDF. Yes, there it is, the two hands shaken. As you can see here, it says al Ula, the first chapter. In this chapter, inshallah, we will learn how to greet others and how to introduce ourselves and get to know others all in the Arabic language. Now, if we scroll down a little bit to the first page, as you can see here, we have the first dialogue of the book al hiwar al awwal as you can see here the word hiwar here means dialogue this dialogue is be between uh, these two gentlemen khalid and khalil i'm going to zoom in for you a little bit so that you can see more clearly all right now i'm going to read for you the dialogue slowly and clearly so please pause and repeat after me so that you have your share of practice as well all right assalamu alaikum وعليكم السلام اسمي خالد ما اسمك اسمي خليل كيف حالك بخير والحمد لله وكيف حالك أنت بخير والحمد لله All right now let's go through the dialogue again um, as you can see they started with السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام that is the تحية part the greeting part and then Khalid says, Ismi Khalid. Now the word Ism, just the Alif Sin Mim here, means name. And then we have the pronoun E, the Ya, which means my. So Ismi means my name. All right. So that Ya at the end, if I attach it to anything, it becomes mine. Right. So if I have like, for example, here, uh, this is a kitab. If I say kitabi, that means my book. If I say, for example, uh, hatif, which means phone. If I say hatifi, that means my phone. Ismi Khalid. My name is Khalid. And then he asks, masmuka. Now the word ma is the first question word that we uh, discuss in this book. Ma means what? Masmuka. Again, ism is name. And then we have the pronoun ka, which means your. So, masmuka, what is your name? All right, Khalil answers, ismi Khalil, my name is Khalil. And then Khalid asks another question, kayfa haluka? Kayfa is, an, is another question word that we have in this dialogue, which means how. Kayfa means how and haluka mm, what does haluka mean now again we said the ka means your and then the word hal he can be translated to condition or state so if i say kayfa haluka that literally translates to how's your condition but basically this is the most common way of us saying how are you and the most common answer to that is bi khair Alhamdulillah. Bihair means I'm in a, in a good condition or I'm fine. And then he praises Allah by saying, Walhamdulillah. And then he asks him back, Wa kayfa haluka anta? And how are you? And then Khalid answers, Bihair. Walhamdulillah. Pronoun anta here is you. If I say anta, that means you only if I'm talking to a male and we will get to the female version of it very soon. Now, as you can see here, you don't have these uh, words 
that I added to my PDF. Um, these are the main vocabulary or the main uh, words that we discussed in this particular dialogue. Anna, the pronoun Anna means I. It's not exactly in the dialogue, but I thought I'd add it. It's very important to know how to say it. I, Anna, and then enter you. And then we have some possessive pronouns like uh, the ya, e, my, and then the ka, which means your. Uh, and then we have a couple of question words. Ma, we said means what. Kaifa means how. And we also learnt that ism is name and the word hal means condition or state. Now I hope I clarify the first dialogue for you. Now let's move on to the second one. The second one is, a, is pretty much the same dialogue but between two ladies, Khawla and Khadija, in order, in order for us to know the differences between speaking to a male and speaking to a female. Or I'm going to read for you uh, slowly and clearly, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Ismi khawla. Masmuki. Ismi khadija. Kayfa haluki. Bi khair. Walhamdulillah. Wa kayfa haluki anti. Bi khair. Walhamdulillah. As you can tell, it's uh, very similar. However, you do notice some changes, like in the pronoun, the key here is used rather than ka because khawla is addressing a female now when you're addressing a female regardless of your own gender if you're talking to a female you always use uh, the female pronouns and in this case the key right your name smoky hatifu ki your phone kitabu ki your book qalamu ki your pen and so on and then Khadija uh, answers, Ismi Khadija, my name is Khadija, alright. Kayfa haluki, how are you? Again, notice the difference between Kayfa haluka and Kayfa haluki. Ka is for male and ki is for female. And then Khadija answers, Bi khayr alhamdulillah, wa kayfa haluki anti, bi khayr alhamdulillah. Anti is the pronoun you. We said ana means I, regardless of my gender. And anta, is you if I'm talking to a male and NT is also you if I'm talking to a female and I think that, that the dialogue now is very clear Alhamdulillah let's scroll down to the next page the next page you have some you know exercises or whatever just leave it it's not that important all right now the next hiwar the next dialogue is between these two guys here Muhammad and Sharif let me zoom in a little bit for you. Alright, I'm going to read the dialogue now. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam. Min aina anta? Ana min Pakistan. Hal anta Pakistani? Naam, ana Pakistani. Wa ma jinsiyatuka anta? Ana Turki. Ana min Turkiya. Ahlan wa sahlan. Alright, uh, the usual beginning assalamu alaikum alaikum salam and then muhammad asks a question min aina anta the word min he means from and then followed by aina the question word the third question word we learn in the book so far it means where so min aina means from where anta you from where are you sharif answers ana min pakistan I am from Pakistan. And then Muhammad asks him again, Hal anta Pakistani? Now the word hal is a very useful word. We use it all the time. And it's a question word. But it doesn't have a translation. It doesn't have a meaning to it. It's just a word that we put at the beginning of a yes or no question. So whenever you want to ask a yes or no question, you begin it with hal. هل أنت باكستاني؟ Are you Pakistani? And the answer will always be either نعم which means yes or لا which means no. So Sharif says نعم أنا باكستاني. Now we notice here the word Pakistan 
we attach to the end of it this ya with a shadda, Pakistani. And don't confuse it with the ya that we just talked about in a previous dialogue. The other ya, we said it's the pronoun my, kitabi, qalami, ismi. But this is a ya with a shadda that basically turns the noun to an adjective in many in many of the cases and it's used with all of names of countries right if uh, if we think of any country like for example Pakistan and then attach that ya to it it becomes Pakistani which means Pakistani it becomes an adjective Misr for example Egypt if I say Misri that would mean Egyptian America is America Amriki is American Canada Canadi, Britannia, Britain, Britanni is British. All right, Faransa, France, Faransi is French, and so on. All right, and then Sharif uh, says, "Naam, ana Pakistani, I'm Pakistani," and then he asks him back, "Wa ma jinsiyatuka anta, and what's your jinsiya?" This is a new word, a long one for for a beginner, of course, and it basically means nationality. وَمَا جِنْسِيَّتُكَ And what is your nationality? What is your citizenship? Muhammad answers أَنَا تُرْكِي أَنَا مِنْ تُرْكِيَ Now Turkiya, as you can see here, is the name of the country. And then we attach the ya to it. Turki to turn it into Turkish, right? أَنَا تُرْكِي أَنَا مِنْ تُرْكِيَ I'm from Turkey. And then Sharif ends the conversation with Ahlan wa sahlan, which is a word of welcoming. It's difficult to translate it literally, but it basically means like nice to meet you or welcome, welcome. Ahlan wa sahlan. If you have a guest coming or if you meet someone for the first time, you, you should always say Ahlan wa sahlan. Another very useful word you can use in such situations is the word marhaban. So you can say Ahlan wa sahlan, or you can say marhaban, or you can say ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban uh, if you want. All right, uh, that's the first dialogue, or the second dialogue, sorry. And I added some keywords uh, in the bottom here. So, yeah, min means from, aina, we said means where, jinsiyah, nationality, ahlan wa sahlan, welcome. Hal is a word used to ask a personal question. Naam is yes. La is no. All right. Now let's move on to the second part of the dialogue, the female part of it. Uh, it's between Maryam and Zainab. Uh, let me read quickly. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam. Min aina anti? Ana min Misr. Hal anti Misriya? Naam. Ana Misriya. Wa ma jinsiyatuki anti? أنا سورية أنا من سوريا أهلا وسهلا It's very similar to the previous one Of course you notice the feminine differences Like من أين أنت Rather than أنت Because she's, she's talking to Zainab Female Zainab answered أنا من مصر مصر is Egypt by the way uh, This is where I'm talking to you from Maryam asks هل أنت مصرية Again this is a yes or no question as hal indicates, hal anti Misriyah. Now, Misr is Egypt, and that ya with a shadda, which said it turns into Egyptian. And then we have that feminine ta attached to the end. That ta that looks like a hat with two dots on top uh, is known as ta it or the feminine ta, which is a sign that a word is feminine. All right, are you Egyptian? Are you a female Egyptian? She said, Naam, Ana Misriya, Wama Jinsiyatu Ki Anti, and what is your nationality? Notice the key rather than the ka because she's talking to Maryam. Maryam answered, Ana Suriya, Ana Min Suriya, Ahlan wa Sahlan. Suriya is the country Syria, Suri is Syrian. And the feminine tat to make it a female Syrian. Ana Suriya. Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome. Welcome. That's it for the first lesson. I hope you enjoyed and benefited. And please, if you do have any questions or suggestions, you're more than welcome to leave them in the comment section. 
below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share with your friends who may be interested in learning the Arabic language. And I've been Ali Al-Ghazali. I'll see you very soon. Assalamu alaikum.